before we begin, I want to talk to you a little bit about temporary containers. When you have a cremation ordered for your family member, you have the option to either choose an urn from the funeral home selection room or bring one in. And if neither of the above occurs, then your loved one's cremated remains will get placed inside a temporary container. This is a hard plastic box that is quite durable and will not break if you drop it. Your loved one's cremated remains will be in a polymer plastic bag inside of this urn. This will come wrapped in paper and labeled with your loved one's name and the cremation number. Today, Professor Kimbo and I are going to take this unsightly free temporary container and transform it into this beautiful leather bound memorial keepsake urn book that you can even do a scrapbooking project on the inside. We look forward to teaching you how to make this on a budget of $30 when this urn would cost upwards of $1,000 from the funeral home. Let's get to work. This is Carrie Peters Passing, the DIY funeral channel where you can create amazing celebration of life ceremonies for your loved one. We're going to begin today's project by taking a wire bristle brush, like a barbecue brush or a dog brush, and we're going to score three sides of this container. Next, we're going to take the paint color of your choice and a piece of paper towel and rub some paint in there. We want to give the illusion of pages for our book. I'm using an acrylic paint which will dry within about 15 to 20 minutes. While we're waiting for that to dry, we're going to begin to make our book cover. I have a cereal box here that I'm going to use as the cardboard inlay for the book cover. Cut this apart. I'm just going to mark this so that it's got an eighth of an inch overhang. And I'm going to fold that over and we'll cut this so that the cardboard is doubled. That gives us one piece. I'm going to do the same for the back cover. Now we have two pieces the same size, two eighths of an inch taller than the urn and one eighth wider. Now we're going to make the spine of the book and we're going to use both pieces of cardboard because we want the spine quite rigid. I'll just mark the end. I have some carpenter's glue and I'm going to use it to glue all three pieces together. And this glue dries in about 15 to 20 minutes. Set them underneath a heavy book. Now that these three pieces of cardboard have dried, I'm going to use some leather for our book cover, but you could use a shirt or a jacket of the deceased. Here in Canada, Canadian tuxedos are quite popular and you could do the whole cover in denim. I'm gonna lay this out. I'm putting my suede side up because I'd like the outside to be the shiny leather. And we're going to lay our cardboard pieces out. We wanna leave an eighth of an inch in between each piece. And I'm just gonna mark out a one inch perimeter around all the cardboard. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut this out. Take one piece of cardboard and apply some glue because we'll be adhering the leather to the cardboard for our front of the book cover. Take some paper towel and spread that out nice and thin. Place that at the one inch mark I'm going to now take the center piece or the spine of the book, glue that down. And remember to put this one eighth of an inch away from the other piece. And we'll do our third piece. And we're left with three adhered pieces just like that. Take our scissors again. And we're just going to trim off the corners of the leather from the book. I have some heavier cardstock, which I'll be using in the front cover of the inside of the book. And I'm going to cut this to the same size as the piece of cardboard here. To glue this down, make sure the glue is very thin. We don't want any bubbling on the inside cover of the book. 
and we'll just let that dry for about 10 minutes and we'll put a heavy book on top of it. We're going to take some more glue. I know there's been a lot of it in this episode and we're going to brush some glue along the edges of the leather here all the way around the entire perimeter of the book. And we're gonna take our corners and we're just gonna push them in all the way around. And as you can see, I'm rolling those in and stretching the leather as I go. And so here is the beginning of our book cover. The next thing we wanna do before we proceed is to ensure that the urn fits squarely onto the book cover. The most important part is that this front cover is sitting straight and flush and that you're able to close it around the urn I picked up some metal corners that will just finish the corners of our book. These have a bendable back and these go on here just like this. And I'm going to take a pair of pliers. And we're gonna bend those corners around the edges. And I'm just gonna take a hammer and I'm just gonna pound down these corners so that they're nice and tight. Next, we need to do a cover page for our book. I'm going to mix some two-part epoxy. This you can get at the dollar store for $1.50 or at Home Depot for nine. So I'm going to apply that directly onto the urn and mix it with the opposite end of my pencil. Spread that around. Take a piece of paper and I'm gonna apply that. This epoxy will dry in about five minutes. We're gonna cut this paper so that we have about a two inch overhang. While we're waiting for this to dry, what we can do is we can go in and trim the excess edge on this part of the urn. Use the urn as a guide for cutting. And I'm gonna put some glue where the spine of the urn is. Use the two-part epoxy and I'll just mix that directly on there. To fold this down, add some more epoxy before we put the urn into the book cover. We wanna be quite liberal with our glue. Now, when we're putting the urn onto the book cover we want to make sure that the cover page and the front page line up this dries very quickly so it has to be correct the first time make sure that it's straight and even set a book on top of this so it has that added extra weight and it'll dry in about five minutes now we're going to glue the back cover to the urn just like this take some more epoxy we just need to do the corners here I'm gonna mix that up take this mount it flush I'm gonna turn the book this way close it up and we're gonna put the book on top to weigh it down now that the book has had a chance to dry we're going to begin to decorate and personalize it I have some lovely silver lettering that matches both the book corners and the pages and I'm gonna put my friend's name on the front cover of this. But first we need to mark it and place the stickers before adhering them down in order to make sure that they're straight on the book. We also wanna make sure that we're having the book face the right direction. I'm gonna begin by marking exactly where I want the lettering to be on the front cover. And I'm taking a ruler and a Sharpie marker and putting two dots. And then I want the last name just below the first name and I'm gonna make two more dots. Now I'm gonna take a piece of string. You could also use the ruler, but I don't like it shifting. And I'm gonna tape the string to the table over top of the book in order to line up and make sure that all of my lettering is straight. Now that those are placed, we're gonna go back in and glue them on with some super glue. And so here we have our personalized homemade memorial guest book urn. The ashes go in the top and this serves as a beautiful memento and keepsake that you can keep your loved one's ashes in on your mantle or bookshelf. Professor Kimbo and I would like to thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed the episode, Click that like button and subscribe 
for more ways of how you can be involved and save money on the funeral service of your family member. We'll see you next time in two weeks. Bye for now.